Uh, we did some research. Do you know how many people in America are named Mike Shashevsky? Uh <laughs> One, I think. No. Yeah, but there's we, probably more. We found yeah. six. Six. Are they coaching in any other place? Or I, uh, I think you're the most successful coach out of the the other Mike Shashevskys. But we're we're, we're che- Paulie. Would you check on that? We're though? looking, Dan. Okay, yeah. But we believe yeah. you're the most successful coach out of all the Mike Shashevskys in America. See, see. Did a little research. Be done. And, uh, Did a little research. Well, first of all, I'm, I wonder how many Shashevskys there are out there. there. There aren't many of us. A lot of us change our names, you know, like uh, my dad, uh, because of a lot of discrimination that he never went by Shashevsky. He went by the name of Cross, K-R-O-S-S, even in the military in World War II. He, he was William Cross. Really? And, uh, yeah, a lot of the Stanislavskis in the world are, are uh, Stanleys. Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so... Uh, Did you think about changing your name? No, never. Never, ever. And, uh, but, uh, you know, in, when I was in grade school, I went to a Polish Catholic grade school, and if you wanted to, you could take Polish, and my parents didn't want me to, and and or my brother, and... Part of it, again, was this discrimination. They didn't want me to have an accent because at that time when, you know, my grandparents migrated from Poland, it was, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff going on <laughs> and where if you had an accent or yeah. you were, you were, had a vowel at the end of your name, uh, you know, you, something wasn't going to happen for you. And I didn't realize that till later, till I became an adult that th- those were the reasons that my dad went by cross and why we didn't. Do you speak we Polish? I do not. I wish I, I did. And however, my, my parents used to use that as a weapon. Because, <laughs> no, because when they didn't want us to know anything, they would speak <laughs> Polish. <laughs> and I said, what the hell are they talking about? They're talking about you. I mean, that's how I went to West Point. They, I turned West Point down and my parents kept talking in the kitchen in Polish and they would talk in Polish and all of a sudden they use a couple English words like stupid, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> and I said, They're, I said, what do you mean? I said, you, you know, you should go to West Point. You know, that's where presidents go. That's for, you know, for a Polish kid. Oh, from man. Chicago to, and big. so I, I went, I, I went to West Point. It was never my decision, but I trusted my parents enough and I didn't want to disappoint him, and it was the best decision I ever. I never made. I never made that decision. Uh, it's crazy, you know, some of the things that just happen to you along the way that are fortuitous. You know, like like for if my parents did not, you know, believe in me and believe in education and you know believe that they wanted something better than what they had for their sons. You know, uh, I mean, I, there's no way I'd be doing what I'm doing today if I didn't go to West Point. No way. There's absolutely no way. And, you know, uh, that's why sometimes you, when kids are making decisions at 17 and parents say, well, it's Jimmy's decision or or Mary's decision. I say, yeah, well, give them some input. Yeah. You know, don't. Nothing wrong with a little guidance there. Not. Yeah. Guidance is a good thing. Yeah. And, uh Theirs was a little bit more ethnically forced. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.